Welcome back, puppies, to Barking Dog Studio Presents The Family Part 3. In this video, I'm going to be painting her earrings. Using some model color gold right here. wasn't a whole lot to the earrings, so I just painted them gold. Thought she needed something a little brighter than some of the bronze and copper that she's wearing. Oh, and here we go. A couple of my favorite reds. Whole red and cavalry brown. Even though it's called cavalry brown, it's actually a red color, and it's a good highlight color to the whole red. This is one of the shades of red that I use whenever I'm doing red hair. There are some other reds I use, some brighter reds sometimes. It just feels like, uh, or just depends on what kind of a red head I'm going for. A bright one or a darker one. And for her and for the mini that will represent Reese, I just kind of chose to use a darker red. Of course, this female barbarian here kind of represents my wife. She's got very interesting hair there. She's got like uh, her hair tied off in like four, so it'd be six kind of, what would you call them? You wouldn't call them pigtails or ponytails. But yeah, she got her hair pulled up into four different little top knots there. A couple that hang in the back and a couple that come off the top of her head on each side. So there's two that hang down and back and then four coming off the top of her head total. Pretty interesting sculpt. I really like it. It's a very, very cool looking mini. Now I do come in and highlight this later with the Cavalry Brown. But then I end up adding another highlight on top of that where I mix in some golden brown with the cavalry brown. Uh, makes it a little bit more towards the, the orange spectrum. There we go, throwing up a red faux hawk. A little hammer boy. Now his gloves turned out very blue. I was originally going for kind of a teal and they just ended up blue. Uh, but I was basing that off of my youngest son's favorite color. I wanted something on the mini that actually did kind of represent him something that he really likes and so I've tried doing that through the gloves here I am adding the highlights and that's the cavalry brown that I'm highlighting with there here we go in for the final highlight and that was the golden brown on the palette there that I used to kind of mix in and make the red just a little bit brighter for the final final highlight.
Okay, here we're fixing to do some blonde hair, and I'm just going to use the triad from Reaper. It's uh, blonde hair shadow, blonde hair, and blonde hair highlight. From Reaper Miniatures. They're MSRP, or MSRP, excuse me, I think it's the MSP line is what it's called. Yeah, MSP. I'm just using the blonde hair shadow for the base. Now when I come in with the blonde hair or what is the mid-tone, I don't get as far underneath that, you know, I don't get into where that shadow is. I don't really worry about that too much. for this mini that represents my oldest boy. The shorts are kind of orange because that's his favorite color. Sorry about being off camera there. You're going in for the beard. And this doesn't really get the, the highlight. I tried highlighting it. I, I did actually highlight it, but it just doesn't show up as much show up as well. And then I'm just showing a tile. It's just a wall tile. I use it as a uh, dry palette. It comes in handy for air or not airbrushing, but when I want to dry brush, and I don't want to put the paint that I'm going to be dry brushing with on the palette, the wet palette. I just put it on a tile. Sometimes I'll actually use the back of a lid to like a water bottle. Here I'm adding the highlights to his beard. And just make sure with the final highlights you only get like the highest uh, part of the miniature, the part that would be receiving the most. Okay, and part of what took place kind of off camera there for a moment, uh, after I get some paint on the dry brush, I wipe off the excess uh, on a paper towel before I actually start doing the highlighting 
or the dry brushing. And here I'm just using that charred brown. It's one of my favorite uh, brown colors from Vallejo, and it's from their game airline. And I'm just using it to kind of represent like the mud or the dirt between the cobblestones. It's got a nice earthy, nice rich earthy tone to it. Okay, so here I'm about to paint the eyes. And as I paint the eyes, uh, I wanted them to sh show blue. I wanted you to be able to see that they were blue when the miniature's like sitting in the middle of the table. Or when it's sitting in the display case and you're standing a couple of feet away from it. And their eyes are so small on the sculpts, I end up kind of over painting with blue and I don't really add any pupils to it and that kind of lets the blue stick out more but right here I started going in with the foundation white uh, from the model color line which is what I would typically do for eyes it's one of the whitest whites that I got it's just a very flat white it makes a good eye color for miniatures but I come in later with the blue and pretty much cover that whole area Here I'm using electric blue from the game air line from Vallejo. Kind of comparing it right there with the magic blue, trying to figure out which I'm going to use. And I end up going with electric blue. I actually kind of have mixed feelings about this someday I may go back and redo their eyes as well as uh, redo some of their skin tones on the camera here their skin tones don't look too bad they uh, blend fairly well but I'm not really happy with it and in the high resolution photograph uh, they look kind of blotchy so when I get time I may go back and redo them I've just uh, had a lot on my plate lately and that's that's not a complaint it's just you know it's just life okay here I'm demonstrating the purple that I'm going for that was a miniature I'd done earlier and I really like the way the inside of her cloak turned out so I'm gonna try to mimic that purple using some scale color paints uh, from their um, fantasy games line but again that scare scale color and I'm using crimson red uh, blood, blood fest crimson, and then the purple that I'm using is uh, brain eater azure, azure, azure. Anyway, kind of mix them together and get kind of a dark purple, and then just use the straight uh, purple there for the for the highlight on it. Brain Eater Azure. But that other meaner, uh, that other meaner, excuse me, that other miniature that was featured there is from Dark Sword.
and when I painted her cloak it was really just an experiment using those two scale color uh, paints and I really like the way it turned out so I've been trying to use it in some other areas when I get a chance uh, the ties for the wife slash mother's hair here being a good spot where I thought I'd throw that in plus purple is one of Shelly's favorite colors so got to add that in there for her Shelly being my wife who the miniature represents in true barbarian fashion huzzah Now you see me just going for a little bit of white, just bring up the highlight a little bit. Oh, but as I was saying, yeah, I've just been really busy lately, so when I did these miniatures, they were kind of rushed. So, I'll probably go back in the future and touch them up. And when I do that, I'll make sure to share some pictures online. Let you guys see the final result. Here I think I'm getting ready to touch up her hair where I might have overpainted some of the purple for the hair ties. I'm just trying to bring out some highlights in the hair again. Uh, you know what would appear to be like natural highlights are from the natural light. Thanks a lot to Chris and Caitlin, and special thanks to my family, Shelly Brogan and Reese. Bark on, puppies.